To begin this install, you are going to remove the stock grill by taking out these six body clips along the top of the grill. If you do not have the special tool for these clips, I like to take two flathead screwdrivers, put one in each tab, and pop it up. Then give it a wiggle and pull it out. Don't worry about damaging the clips as our kit comes with new ones. There are eight more clips holding the grill on and these will pull straight out. Once all the clips have been pulled out, the grill will be free to remove. Before installing the new grill, there are two backing panels that need to be mounted on the top. These go on the inside of the grill and each use four push fasteners to hold them in place. The fasteners go in the four holes that are countersunk for them to sit flush on top of the grill. After that, you are going to add the eight provided clips to the back side of the grill. These are going on the same location as the stock grill if you need to use it as a reference. Before I carried the grill over, I tucked the wires to the outside of the grill so they would not get pinched while installing. Once the grill is in place, firmly press in the eight clips along the bottom until you hear them click. The three wire pigtails coming off each light in the grill are going to tap into the turn signal harnesses on the driver and passenger side. To locate this harness, you must remove the fender flare. There are five bolts under the fender to take off the flare and there are tension clips holding it to the Jeep. Pull the fender straight off the Jeep to release those clips. It is easiest to set the fender flare on the tire, then you will have access to the turn signal harness. The black wire will tap into the black wire in the Jeep harness for ground. The yellow wire will tap into the white and beige striped wire for the turn signal function. The white wire that is left on the grill light harness can be tapped into the beige with orange striped wire for a white DRL running mode. With the DRL mode connected, you will only have the RGB function while the Jeep is not running. If you want to access the RGB mode while driving, do not connect the white DRL mode wire. The turn signal function will work with or without the white DRL mode connected. Repeat this process on the other side so the grill lights can sync to both driver and passenger turn signals. After that harness is connected, we will wire up the XK Chrome controller. Start by taking the provided splitter and plug it into the controller. Then you will run the wire left from both grill lights and plug them into the splitter. After that, the red positive and black negative wires will go to the battery and you are done. Although there are many ways you can wire the grill, this is the direction of how I ran the wires on this Jeep. After everything is wired, test the lights before buttoning up the grill. Download the XK Chrome app and pair it to the grill light controller. Use the app to test all the RGB functions, including different colors, themes, and sequences. Be sure to test the white DRL mode, turn signals, and hazards as well. After you have tested the light functions, install the six provided body clips along the top of the grill. Once it is mounted, it is time to install the rubber seal that goes across the top of the grill. Remove the double-sided tape, center the seal, and stick it on. It is very important to test all of the light functions of the grill and OEM lights that were disconnected during the install. After everything is tested, your Jeep is ready to hit the road or trail with its new XK Glow grill. 